Hello everyone and welcome back to another daily tutorial video and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install replay mod for Fever Client. So let's get started. If we go over to mods, click on browse 1.21.5 fabric mods and go to search and just type in replay mod just like that. We're going to have replay mod right here. All we need to do is click add. Then we need to go over to play and launch the game and then I'm going to give you a bit of a tutorial on how to use replay mod as well as how to export, how to change settings, how to do a lot of really cool stuff, showing you controls and recommended keybinds, at least for me, all these work for me. And uh, yeah, let's just start up the game so I can get into the nitty and gritty of how to use replay mod itself. So as you can see, we're now in the game, and the first thing we need to do is just get into a world so that we are actually able to use most of the features for replay mod. So there we go, we're now in the server. I'll just like run around, play some dirt down or whatever. Okay, there we go, that should be enough. So now to end the recording, you just click escape and stop recording and save the title and it is going to save your recording you're going to see it right here you just click done now i want to go over to the replay viewer right here click on this and click load and now you want to click t to gain access to your mouse and now we have some key buttons to set up what i recommend is going over to options controls and key binds. If you don't have side buttons on your mouse, uh, I suggest these key binds right here. So, play, pause, replay, numpad zero. It's counted as a different zero, so use that. Next, for me, I really love camera tilt. So, what I always end up doing is I end up changing these to their respective. There we go. And their respective alt keys so that i'm very quickly able to tilt the camera for the keyframes also if we go back to the keybinds you want to set a reset keybind as well for me i usually just use the uh i usually just use the right control even though there is already one it's k but the alt plus control key the alt keys plus the control key just makes more sense to me at least. It makes more sense to me when I'm making my replay mod paths. So now, let's uh, get on with it. Keep in mind that the first few frames of whatever you're doing in replay mod are not going to be usable. Because uh, if you export them, they are going to have no skin. So the first frame, you're always going to have to cut out. Now... Another control that I'm going to want uh, you to know, that you're going to want to know, is the I and the O key. What this does is it gives you a position and a time keyframe, which basically means that at this position, what we just did, uh, which was I plus O, at this position, at this time, this is where the camera needs to be. So, if we click on play, right here, One. So now, if we just like go out and like tilt the camera slightly, there we go, and do IO again, and now we click on play rendered path right from here. We'll see, this is what the actual thing looks like. So, if we zoom out even further and make the tilt larger, right, more noticeable, more pronounced. And then play this forward a bit. And then we go back in here and we tilt the camera down. Click T again. And add some more keyframes. This is what we're going to be able to see. As the final product. There we go. So as you can see, that is the full camera path up until now. So, that is how to set up keyframes, that is also how to use the timeline properly, and how to play back the thing that you are making to see if it looks good or not. Now, let's get on to the more complicated stuff, like the exporting. 
So here, for rendering method, I just I just stay on default. Default's fine. You don't really want to mess with any of this. The quality, I usually do 4K, just because even if you're on a really bad GPU, it will just take a really long time to load. For example, for me, I would max out BSL on my old GT730 that I had like a year ago. I would max everything out and just wait a few hours for the renders to be done. But over here, all I want to do is just change the frame rate and the bit rate. I usually just set to like 50, 60. I use 50 for this. Then you can disable render name tags. You can enable a def map and stuff like that. You can export the camera path. You can enable anti-lacing, but this will take way longer to render. You can change the file name as well as the output file location. As you can see, it's currently right here. So it's quite weird to go through, but here I'll just export it to dot videos. And all I'll do is I'll click the render key. So now you'll see the final issue or the final difficulty with replay mode, which is FFMPEG. So here you just want to copy this to the clipboard, go over to your browser and paste it in. And right here, all you want to do is click on this button and wait for it to download. Now this one will take a while to download. It can take a while. So feel free to, you know, give it a second. In the meantime, feel free to just like finish your keyframes or look over your files once again. And you're going to be good to go. So let's just wait for this to download. So once it is downloaded, all you want to do is go over to the folder that it is in and you want to just click Control X, type in a Windows plus R and type in percent app data percent. Go to the dot Minecraft folder, paste it in and you want to extract it as well. WinRAR, extract files. Oh, and click OK. There we go. Go over to Minecraft. And you're just going to want to click on render camera path right here. And as you can see, it's now rendering. And if you click on show preview, it's also going to show you what it looks like as you're rendering it. So you can immediately cancel it if something looks off. So yeah, that is how to download, install, and use Replay Mod. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.